Hi everyone. Just got a Dualcom 1005 PT. So what this is is it's a switch, but it's also a hard-coated network tapper. So let's see what's inside the box. Uh, it's like a little two-page, maybe three-page fold-out how-to book there. Um, got a power supply. Now this is one of the things that was attractive to me. The power supply is USB. And I suppose you could probably still get a wall version of this, but it doesn't come with one. But, but this is a USB power supply. And then this little bitty box right here is the five port switch slash tap. So let me explain what's going on here. So this looks like a little five port switch, right? But what is going on here is that port five is, is hard coded as a network tap port, meaning it's permanently mirrored. So normally you would have a smart switch that you have to go in and set up port mirroring on, but this is already done for you. There's no, you don't have to program anything here. So this is where your laptop with your, your uh, Wireshark or PCAP software would be plugged in. And then what's also cool is that ports one and two are a PoE pass-through. So PoE is power over ethernet. It's what a lot of voice over IP phones run on. One of the reasons why you get one of these devices is typically for analyzing uh, voice over IP traffic. So what would happen is the PoE power or the, the the wire that comes from the switch would go into port one. Remember that's got the network connectivity and the power on it. And then out of port two would go to the phone. So what's nice about this is that a lot of times, especially in enterprise environments, the, the voice over IP phones run off of PoE switches. They don't have power supplies. So you're gonna get in a situation where you're trying to troubleshoot something and if you just use a plain old hub or plain old switch that doesn't supply PoE, then you've got nothing to power that phone with. All right, so I'm going to get this hooked up, and then I will uh, show you what it looks like in operation. Okay, so hooking it up was really a no-brainer. I just took the little USB uh, cord that goes in the USB port of my laptop. I plugged it into the power spot on the switch. I got power on the front. Also, I connected uh, my lap's network adapter to port 5 on the switch because that's that's the the mirrored port the permanently mirrored port so what I would do is let's take a look at this uh, power over Ethernet phone right here this this voice over IP phone so what I would do if I was going to troubleshoot this if I wanted to capture the traffic I would take the phone I would take the network cable out of it so this is the cable that comes from the network room or from the switch that also has power on it all right, I would plug that into port one on the, the dual com. And then what I would do is I would take another cable and plug it into port two on the dual com. And that would go to the phone. So if I'm doing this right, and if it works as advertised, the phone should power on. And it is. All right, let's let the phone get booted up. Or actually, we don't even have to wait for that. I can start PCAP right now. So let me get you in place to show you what PCAP will look like. All right, I've got my Wireshark up, and we're gonna set up a uh, capture. So let's start a capture. And we'll go with my, um, my hard neck there, and start. And there we're capturing traffic. number you have dialed is invalid is or great. not in this is great well it's working as it said it would i'm basically sniffing traffic that's coming from the network switch and go into this voice over ip phone right there so so anyway so that's the dual com 1005 pt and it's officially called a five port 
10100 base T Ethernet switch tap. I got this one at the usual place online and uh, I've got a link in the description if you want to click on that one to uh, be taken to the place where you can get it. Uh, when I bought this in um, July of 2017, it ran me uh, $100 before tax and yeah, about $100 US. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps you out with your voice over IP uh, stuff and uh, we'll see you next time.